Alrighty guys, welcome back to the contender division for the IPTL in the top right corner, FXO Baby Knight. Name is so big we can barely fit it in the scoreboard. <laughs> in fact, barely we actually can't get that T all the way in, but just, just imagine it. It's there. It's gonna be our Protoss player. He is blue. Wait, it's Baby Knight? Yeah. N really? Yeah, is it a baby knight? I always thought it was baby Knigget. What? <laughs> <laughs> baby Knight's <laughs> opponent! In the bottom left, who is it, Robin? <laughs> Under the uh, tag of vibe, it's going to lay it be Leia. I'm sorry, that joke was. Do you not do you not know the reference of that joke? No, I about really. Last to understand it. No, oh, tell me. We're I heard, watching I heard that movie tonight. Else laugh we're watching that movie tonight. What is it from? It is from Monty Python and the Holy uh, Grail. I've only seen uh, a couple of Monty Python films, but only like parts. The oh, only part I remember is like the uh, the the horses and when they run, coconuts. they use coconuts. They're it's not the actually only horses. Thing I remember, <laughs> and I, I, I laughed so hard at that moment. <laughs> And this is my trusty servant, Patsy. We have ridden from Mercia. Ridden? Leia? Can't ride on foot. <laughs> Busting out that gateway. Both players going that route. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see some Monty Python episodes. Um, again, everyone talks about them, but I've never oh, see, this is a movie. to sit and watch them. Well, this I'm, isn't a... That's what I mean. Oh. I'm just feeling all over I'm, the I thought maybe there was a Monty Python TV show, because I've heard about a lot of TV shows yeah, that those was. guys have done. They also do yeah, a lot of like, uh, comedic okay. stand-up, because I heard some stuff like online. It's a lot of like wordplay and whatnot. Uh, gas ball loads for both players looking pretty standard to PvP. Um, this map, Blink Stalker is really not the best route to go for right away. There's only that one entrance outside the bottom of your natural, uh, the main of the natural, so it's kind of hard to pull them off. Now, if you do so go for a really aggressive strategy, you can try to go that route, but again, a lot of players know where you're going to blink into, so uh, they usually chrono boost out a couple of immortals and they're pretty well defended. But uh, if you do see any aggressive strategies, you see a lot of three gate rushes, uh, yeah. potentially a couple of four gates here and there, but it's mostly three gate that you're going to see on this map. It throws your opponent off because you get in there just barely in time for that sentry to pop out. Mm -hmm. No, it's a fantastic point, though we've been seeing a lot of the root players. Um, you know, they. I, I guess we've seen less of it lately, but in the past they were very tended towards double sentry openings. They took a very fast second gas, actually even before Cybercore, and would pump out a Zealot, two sentries, play super safe, and then go into three gate robo from there. Uh, I know that was a play style that lay extremely favored in this situation, though. Both players going much more run of the mill standard, though. Baby Knight. Oh, this is actually uh, Baby Knight going for the second gas. Leia has a nun, and I think we might be seeing a gateway from her any second. Yeah, looking aggressive. As we mentioned, it seems like her PvP is a little bit off when it be ca uh, compared to other matches, uh, of course, so maybe she wants to go for some aggression and maybe throw her opponent off and hopefully can do some damage from there. Now, Baby Knight with that second gas does kind of relate to him wanting to be a little bit more defensive, and he'll have the ability to hold this off if he would like to. Uh, so Zealot and Stalker now moving across the middle of the map. We do have a second Stalker on the way for Leia as well, so... Uh, the aggression is now pinning its way towards Baby Knot's base. We do have two more gateways being queued up for Leia as well on the left side of her main. There's Three that more gateways. This is a four gate out of Leia, folks. In case you, it's a four gate. <laughs> of, this is some sort of four gate aggression no, build. Quad gate aggression. Quad gate, you are. Thank you. Oh, I love counting, man. I'm glad I watched that episode of Sesame Street. Four was the best one. Well, Zealot's Why was four? Really? really? Yeah, it was a good episode, man. Remember, he counted four elements. No, it. he gets away. That micro. I was talking about that zealot, Robin. Oh, that zealot is dead. They're both they're <laughs> both dead, and, and when it comes to the late game, they'll die eventually. Uh, so the aggression isn't fitting on its way. We do have oh, a pylon dead. on the uh, top left corner here for Leia. She does get it down, and the stalker actually doesn't have enough damage to kill those off. These uh, gateway or these pylons are going to finish up. Warp gate's about to finish off as well. Leia will have her aggression available to her. Here we go. In any second, these gateways are done. They're turning into warp gates. Both pylons. He cancels the top pylon. Yeah, she cancels it because she thinks she can get a warp in in time. Oh, oh no, Leia. no, no. Baby what Knight it, pulled back. That's why. Leia may Smart have just choice. put herself into a tough position as that second pylon would have been completed. There could have been four stalkers warped in. Uh, assuming she had enough money, I don't know that. Oh, actually, no, she would not be supply blocked. Hmm. I guess she was assuming that she was she had it on lockdown. Well, she yeah she didn't know that there was a zealot and a stalker coming on back. But canceling ground. that pylon, actually let's let's actually say this: she would not have had enough money because she would not have gotten the seventy-five back. But now Baby Knight's in a really good spot. Yeah, Baby Knight gets a warp in down here, and suddenly the counter aggression is on its way. Do have a robo on the way for Baby Knight as well, nice so he's snipe. he's just coming in here. He's gonna go ahead and kill off whatever he can. A sentry does pop up. Nice job there of actually yep. catching those stalkers off. Gonna allow her to be a little bit more on cost efficient side here. Needs to make sure she leaves the sentry back though, so she can deal with the force field. There we go. And does get three stalkers for essentially what was that? One Zell that died off. So uh, kills all that off, and now is in a good defensive spot. 
Yeah, they I was actually surprised she made another sentry there because I feel like she would have had enough units to actually take this on now. Well, now I should go ahead and uh, hesitate until she does go down. She wants to make sure that she follows up into some kind of tech. I would like to see uh, potentially a robo, though. It's really hard to pull off a four-gate robo off of one base, so might just want to stay with the gateway units for a little bit here, and then as soon as she can chase away Baby Knight, go into some kind of expansion. But there's that robo now being put down. Leia, with another couple of sentries, should be able to just hold this and not allow anything to come up the ramp. Yeah, I don't think it's so much holding at this point for Leia as much as it is Leia wants to get out, but at any point if she tries to go down the ramp, Baby Knight can actually just cut her forces in half, kill the lower oh, half, there it is. and here, yep, and now Leia is potentially in for a world of hurt because these stalkers are 100% dead at this point, point. Uh, and Baby Knight with beautiful micro, look at that, Zealot, what hit oh, point, it man. regenerated a shield egg, oh no, I did have the one armor. I was like, really? It regenerated the shield and didn't take the full 12 damage? That would have been crazy. Poor yeah. Leia. Dead well, points, man. This is yeah, the second time she didn't kill really tough spot This now. is a really hard position here. Yep. Baby Knight doing a good job. You notice how he actually had that Zealot selected? He had it on hold position. He watched it take two shots from those, uh, the Stalkers, and when the Stalkers got ready for another shot, he just pulled it back barely, and the attack move made those Stalkers move up, and he landed a force field. That was really good executing of timing there. So nice really? job there from Baby Knight. Yeah, he had it on selected. I watched him have it on hold position, and he just waited. He waited for the third shot, and then he pulled back, and those Stalkers came down the ramp, landed a force field. Nice well, that's control. baiting in its purest form. Yeah, essentially. Really? Natural on the way here. Now for uh, Baby Knight, and this game gets a little bit harder for Leia. She's going to have to try and make something happen, and she's moving into a robotics bay. The problem is Baby Knight's doing so as well. Can we go and look into the harvesters really quick? Yeah, let's take a look at that. We know that at this point Baby Knight's going to be ahead, but wow, that's quite a lead. This is a really huge lead. Yeah, uh, Baby Knight is just taking of the whole entire Artosis statement and just really reeling it all the way through. Uh, just moving up in economy, moving up in tech all at the same time, and just keeping a nice soft contain on his, on his opponent. Mm. He knows that he can't actually fully engage now because Layla's getting a nice amount of units out and he hasn't kept warping down at that pylon, but he does know he has enough sentries to keep her kept in the main. Now if you guys don't know too much about Protoss, the saying is uh, when you're behind in PvP, you just go Colossus. So that's what Leia's going to be going for. We'll see what she can manage to pull off against Baby Knight, who right now already has three Immortals on the field and has completed his Robotics Bay. So he'll be able to start making Colossus here in just a second. There it goes. Bam, bam. So Colossus Tech is now on the way for both players here. There is a hefty number of Zealots for Leia, so if she does get an engagement, she can maybe take out those Immortals. There are three Immortals for Baby Knight outside That's of the That's actually natural. really true. Like, those Zealots are going to make mincemeat of these Immortals. If they touch them. There is kiting availability here. Available. And uh, a lot of force fields, which the Colossus would actually have to break and therefore suicide. It's going to be a hard engagement, but she does have a chance. It's pretty slim, if you ask me, but there still is a chance, and that's always what matters in StarCraft. Well, army supply is actually higher right now, and it's really just the Colossus that's... Here we go. War Prism is being brought as well. Did just finish up. Moving up that natural ramp now. Needs to lead with the Colossus, but needs to be a little bit on the careful side because she wants to be able to A, pop the force field, but she doesn't want to have her Colossus sniped by the three Immortals. So uh, here we go. Going to go ahead and go the, I, the right side here. I don't know about this decision to loop around the side, though. This is giving Baby Knight so much time. One Colossus has already hit the field that wasn't on the field, and now a second one during this fight will spawn. If she had attacked before, it would not have. Now the second Colossus will arrive during the fight, and I think that is just too much. It's only... 10 seconds away at this point. Definitely going to hit the field during the fight. Here we go. Here goes the engagement. Zelda actually heading in the bottom left corner. She's really weighing her out, army out over here on the left side. On the right side, the Colossus is doing a decent amount of damage to the uh, Zelda from the low ground, but the Immortal is starting to get damage on there. Ooh, the nice War Prison pickup, though, is going to help out Leia a lot. But Baby Knight with the superior there it is. concave, more units, better tech, just straight up kills her off. That was honestly... Just a case of Baby Knight taking yeah. a small advantage and just steamrolling it, evolving it really, really quickly there. And, of course, sniping those two stalkers down at the bottom of the ramp was a big deal, especially in a PvP. And Leia, unfortunately, just couldn't keep up after that. Yeah, I mean, she went for Forgate, and it didn't work. Uh, most of the time, you know, they call Forgate all in for a reason, because most of the time when that happens, you don't win. Uh, but unfortunately for Leia, I mean, she didn't get any damage in. Uh, both pylons were killed without really warping in any units. She canceled it was her just top a disaster pylon. of a four game. So it looks like next for Team Root, we're actually going to have them bringing. Really, really, this is going to be exciting. 
Who are they bringing? I know the name on there isn't right. So you're like, who is it? Yeah, yeah. It's under the We Win. Oh, is that Cat Smurf? They are bringing out cats. Bringing out cats. Exciting. We win. Creativity. Oh, actually, that makes enough yeah, sense. I don't know why I didn't. That's I didn't realize it said We Win. You'll see the capitals are all funny, but We Win. That's, Creativity it's on its way man. from Cats, the leader of Root, along with Drooby. Uh, it's going to be bringing out his mitts here to play. But before we do jump into game number three, we do actually have a pl or actually the daily news yes, that pop out for you guys. And after that, we will jump into the commercial and we will be jumping into game number three. So let's go ahead and get going. What's up, guys? This is Tim Frazier with your IPL StarCraft 2 daily news for January 17th, 2013. The first round of the IPL 6 regionals kicked off yesterday, Naniwa winning out over Targa in the EU division. On Friday, we'll brought 